Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Cracking What's Poppin' SG, boss here. This video by Omizi. It's titled, OnlyFans Creator Burnt Your Favorite Streamer. What is happening? <laughs> I saw some headlines about this, but I don't know who this person is. Their name is Gucci something. And it caught my attention because I was thinking they was talking about the rapper Gucci, but it's somebody else. It's an up-and-coming rapper. Oh, no, it says he's the OnlyFans creator. Or are they saying the girl is the OnlyFans creator and maybe Gucci is the streamer? Who gave who the S? I don't know. Let's watch. I don't know. If she gave him the what STD. What are you positive or? for? What is that? It says, you, it says you're positive for HSV1. Yes. So what is that? Oh, what, can you explain what that means? So positive for HSV1 so means him. you not. It means you have had probably like a cool sore, more so um, stuff like this. And this is very common in the whole world. I understand she is a victim, but I'm sorry. Oh, you gave it to her. Not my victim, but just knowing how desperate she sounded, how eager she was, she said she needed money to make for her, you know, what I'm saying like for her, her rent. She said she needed to make money for her mom. Now, this famous OF creator Gucci Third Leg, who's known for having a third leg, That's is being cool. called a super spreader because he's passing around the bees to a lot of other OnlyFans content creators. The allegations came down from Danae Davis, who you may or may have not seen on streams with people like Deshae Frost, where she claims she was only 19 when Gucci Third Leg knowingly gave her HSV2. So I had to really buckle down, put on my Law & Order SVU shirt, and really get to the bottom of this. Now, without a shadow of a doubt, this guy is a 100%. He knows that he has HSV2, or he knows that he has HSV1, whatever one he tries to clarify later on in the video, it doesn't matter. He still disclose it especially because this is the business that they're in now i've seen videos of the alleged acts and there is a clear lesion abrasion cut whatever you want to call it on his piece while she is performing acts and Ew. it's disgusting but there's a lesson in all this for the young ladies out um yeah because i'm gonna get all the tea i'm gonna get all the information first but why would you sleep with him unprotected um or did you get it just from giving him head? I don't I don't know how this is spread exactly. I don't know if it's only spread. I don't know. I'm just gonna say, yes, he gave it to me. It's devastating to have to come on here and share. And especially if it was if it was viewable as you was giving him head. Whenever I was 19 years old, Gucci third leg burned me with HSV2 and he told me that he was gonna send me his test results. And he never did. And it saddens me to hear that he's done this to so many girls. And there's girls with so many similar stories to me. And they're so young as well. He is preying on the young. He is preying on the new. And I'm so sorry for not saying this seven months ago. I was scared. And I was making so much money. I just, I can't keep being around the bush because you guys think I'm lying. And he can't ruin anybody else's life. I didn't know. I didn't know what he was known for. I didn't know who he was. I didn't I am in no way trying to defame anybody. I am just trying to save people from going through what a lot of people have gone through in this industry. It is real and there is worse happening too. Behind the scenes, people are catching HIV. <laughs> this is not a funny situation. I'm not laughing at the situation itself. I'm, this is not what I was expecting. Exactly. Um, hmm. He's definitely trifling for not disclosing this information to people and knowingly spreading, you know, his STDs. Uh, I, I think everybody needs to be held accountable, though. I don't think it's smart to have unprotected sex, oral sex, whatever, with someone who is known for sleeping with multiple people and to do that unprotected. And then to say that you're being preyed upon. I mean, yes, it's very deceitful. It's fucked up. So that is a form. Hmm. <laughs> He's definitely in the wrong. But you also have the responsibility to, to protect your own sexual health. That's, that's in your hands as well. That... Too. Now she's a young, dumb, naive woman, so I gotta show some old is sort he? of sympathy tear for her. Cause but also, I mean, and I know we're in an era where everybody needs to be politi politically correct, and it's like, oh, don't you dare say anything wrong about what she did, victim blamer. I know we in that era, but I'm gonna say what the fuck I want, and I'm gonna tell you just what I'm thinking as I'm watching this, and I think that they both are at fault 
I just do. And the fact that we're bringing up, oh, 19 year old, like, yes, that is young, but there are a lot of corn stars who are around that age, 18, 19. And that's very young. And it is fucked up that they are uh, groomed and molded, you know, into being these corn stars. But at the same time, you are technically an adult and you are responsible for your your own decisions. And you you willingly participated in, in this. And this is the lifestyle. And this is the job that you chose. So... I just don't like how this is being painted as if she's this delicate super victim and it's like oh my god this demon man oh you poor baby come here let's I, that's kind of how it's being presented to me and i'm just like wait <laughs> gonna be a small not seen one on the camera all i heard in that situation was she did find out that she did have the disease she still continued to have sex with people she also didn't get herself tested and provide test results right. to other people it might be just a problem with the american education system but sexual health is important Specifically see i don't i don't like this i don't like this i i feel like as a i feel like we coddle the wrong people sometimes and it's upsetting because there are people who actually do need to be coddled. I don't use the word coddled, but there are people that we actually need to identify as true victims and they are completely innocent and in, in what occurred with them. This is just not one of those situations to me. And it just sounds like he's trying to excuse it. Like, oh, maybe the education system is a problem. Maybe she just wasn't aware. What? What, bro? Come on, bro. He's supposed to be a content creator in this sphere. Now, don't get me wrong. He's not let off the hook at all either because he is the one who knowingly spread it. She at least might have been a little bit naive in the beginning. But once she figured out and she still continued to, A, not speak out about it, and B, still continuously have sex with people, this is where it comes to fault for her. The site launched okay. in 2016, but in 2023, there was a massive boom in OF content creation. The user accounts topped at 305 million in 2023. Creator accounts climbed to 4.1 million in 2023. Fans paid $6.6 .6 billion dollars to the site in that year as well. But the problem with this content is how unregulated it is. See, traditional sex work isn't the safest thing in the world. In 2012, California passed Measure B, which requires all valid eight acts recorded on film to require some sort of condom, which is a great form of protection for a lot of people. But the thing is, OnlyFans content creators know nothing about this life. You can even hear how naive Danae Davis is in the explanation as to how they still got down with the got down, even though he clearly had something going on. He said, maybe while you were giving him fellatio, your teeth worsened the open cut that made it appear like that on the last video. What's your response? That, my response is that I did not say anything about his lesion or his his sore. My thought process whenever I was coming into it was this was my first collab, professional collab. The collaborations that I had prior were all romantic partners that I were com was comfortable enough to have sex with on camera. He was the first person that I ever had sex with that I did not know prior. Somebody that I was watching online and that I was fantasizing over for the longest. So whenever I got there, I assumed that it was a safe space. Over time, I noticed that he was like messing with himself. Oh, you, were itching it. you saw him itch it. You saw him start to itch it. I, I saw him put his hand down there and fix himself. And now I know that that's a discreet way to scratch your herpes sore. I asked him, I was like, hey, what is that on your dick? He said, oh, I cut myself while shaving. He said, oh, that's crazy. And I'm sorry to say, that's just stupid. Professional collab or not, fantasization or not, itchy penis or not, when were you going to protect yourself in this situation? Now, there might be he say, she say in this conversation as to when it was told or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, there was no protection on her end for the situation that did happen. And she's got to take accountability, which she is, for that situation. But this okay. is the reason why a lot of people should not be getting into the lane of OF. They don't know anything about sexual education. Hell, they don't know about protecting themselves, even if they get a common cold or a cough. Why would you put yourself in risk like that when you don't know what the hell you're doing? And she claimed that this was her first professional collab. That's a lie. Professional collaborations don't come from internet DMs, person to person. That's when you go through a talent agency. Sure, you might not get the same money that you would get if you go through OF directly, but there are some safeguards. Yeah, We're getting in an era where professionalism is looked down upon, and I hate that. This DIY culture, do it yourself off the internet, is gonna have people in harm's way. I didn't want to jump the gun and drop this video yesterday because I heard Gucci Third Leg himself was gonna be on Aiden Ross's stream, so I sat back and waited until he got on the platform so he could give his recanting of the tale and boy oh boy was it one for the ages i do think this is awakening for everything that's happening in the only fans do you think it was safe for you to have for somebody with the oh. okay let me sorry i don't need to see that and cut on your and then he said i have a cut my feet she said you told her that you cut yourself shaving but hair don't grow in your that shit was crazy. Hey, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Yo, I, 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 it grows on mine. I'll show y'all right now. It does. I, I can vouch. Hair grows on mine. It grows on mine. It 
eyebrows on my Maybe at the very base. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm about, it does. So you're telling me when you're shaving, you're shaving up your shaft. Yeah, but why not even make that? I got to shave everything. Now, Mr. Third Leg, I watched that whole stream, and to be honest with you, you took that Nobody whole thing as a hair laughing hair. matter. It was a joke to you. It didn't seem like it was serious to you, and that's why I think that you deserve jail time, like, Absolutely. underneath the jail, jail time. Yes, let's be clear. He's 1,000% in the wrong. Like, you cannot be fucking people and knowing that you have an STD. You definitely need to go to jail for that. He's absolutely wrong. Get him the fuck out of here. I don't believe that you told her this cut, whether it was from shaving or whether it was you a true lying about? from a flare-up, could lead to her contracting HSV2 or HSV1 or any sort of herpes. And then because she was so desperate, she proceeded to have sex with you. Now, if that's what you're claiming, that is a pretty bold claim. I would love for both of y'all to duke it out or you have some sort of proof, but that even goes to the conversation about professionalism. If you were a true professional and you were having a flare-up, knowing what that could do for somebody, you wouldn't even involve involve yourself in that type of situation on both ends she wouldn't have said is he that to popular you i've never heard this man before that to her, knowing what that could do for this you your good. career and the people that you have been photographed with and engaged with and you don't make your case any better yeah, by going on the people that was he on the, one of those 20 v ones that's what it looked like so maybe he was really popular you have been photographed with and engaged with and you don't make your case any better by going on the platform showing some old test and then saying you'll come on the next day to prove that you got some more recent tests this just all seems extremely clout chasey you wanted your day in the sun and you're not trying to use it to elevate your brand and that's why you're popping out with some sort of nft the reason why this hits our community NFT. so hard is because this woman danae davis has been seen with a bunch of streamers i do not have herpes okay i do not have that <laughs> why he dies <laughs> actually talked to danae when she came on my stream in june we good. um talked at the stream and that's when i knew i knew before the whole world knew not to put people's business out but the time i had to her was in December when I shot my season three. When she came on stream, we talked and she was she pulled me to the side and she respectfully she was like, Yo, so and so gave me this and I just want to let you know before anything further because I know we had, you know, back then. Now thankfully she cleared the air on the whole situation when she got on Aiden Ross's live stream because a lot of people were genuinely concerned about that. Can I clear up this speculation real quick about the shade? So me and the shade did have sex. Protected while we were on his show in November of 2023. I contracted HSV2 February 10th, 2024. I did not know that I had it until late March. The last time me and him had general sex was November of 2023. So he does not have HSV. But Deshae isn't the only one who's been in contact with these OF content creators who have also been in contact with the third leg. Why these streamers are so in love with having these OF content creators on their platform, I will never know. Like, I get it, excels and all, but I'm never really a part of this camp ever. You do have children on your platform that are consuming your platform. You know this. You can't hide it anymore. So the reason why you're promoting these OF creators, it baffles me. But to have loose and reckless sex with all these it, it's because it gets them views and they know that these horny little kids like watching it so yes they are fucked up for that that's a whole different conversation but i i agree that that's what they're doing and they know they're doing it um but yes to go as far as to sleep with them as well y'all are fucking stupid people without <laughs> idiotic testing, it's just a testament to how stupid casual sex is in general but how these guys need to go about protecting themselves and being safe more often than not put two and two together right I seen some shit. She contracted her in March. I had sexual intercourse with her January. January. I literally am saved by the bell. On my life, I was saved by the bell, my nigga. The nigga y'all need to pray for is y'all man's the shade. Y'all need to pray for uh Lil Mike. I'm praying for them this shit. Okay. She come down here every one of her past niggas. Not me. What's crazy to me is this could have been an opportunity for them to promote safe sex in their environment to their Whose audience. head is this over here? Is this her? And get tested. But like streamers do in any other situation, they took this as an opportunity to create content out of all of this. And it was tasteless, to be honest with you. You know, it was really nice when I was on your show. When did you like contract? You know what I'm saying? Like, I contracted her. February. I actually kind of like this gray girl on me. <laughs> At first, I was my bad. I'm talking over. At first, I was like, "What the fuck? This look wild." But no, it looked kind of dope. I can't lie. When did you like contract? You know what I'm saying? Like. February 10th or after the 13th, one of those two days, and I didn't find out that I had her until March. In the results of the shade frost, you test positive for nigger riding. Nigger riding. The 
first human being ever to. Do I got peace? No, you don't. You're good. You're good with that. But I got nigga itis. Yeah, nigga itis. I really don't want to catch that, so uh, safety precautions. Stay away from me, okay? You're the only person in the world I got it, okay? So stay away from me, okay? Wait. I hate. What's that right there, okay? okay? Do not come outside. Stay at home, all right? Stay your black ass home. If you can't have or participate in creating content with these OnlyFans models in a safe manner, then don't have them on your platform at all. But the crowd that you attract, the situations that you're gonna be in, the label that you'll get, is it really worth it at the end of the day? Fresh and Fair have been some of the main players in the recent days of bringing these OF models, these content creators on their platform, bashing them, etc., etc., saying that they hate their content. But only thing that it's really done is boost up the OF models content post the conversations. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I'm not your husband, don't raise your voice at me and don't swear like that. Again. Listen, I'm, I'm making Don't eye that contact again. with... Uh, that's going to be the first and last time I'm talking. Everybody's been swearing the whole uh, time. Yeah, but you're, well, you're, thing, you're swearing that. at him, trying to I'm emphasize, you're trying him. to come up aggressive, whatever. You know, the same for debate, bro. Who show are you on? Honestly, f you and your show. Okay, get like, the like, out of here. I will get the f out of here. You get it. Given you ain't get f yeah. he was 20-something years old. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's actually 18. You should watch 18. the show and figure it out. But anyway, go ahead. Got it. You look like a clown. Who looks like a clown? You. Get out of here. I look better than any I've ever been with. Look at you. Look at you. You run, you run the show debating about and with one. This, this before the uh, the new hair, too. I'm saying about you. Put, you look like a, look, look you look a clown. Look, Get out of here. I'm a clown. I'm yes, you are. You look right now. Oh, you, you'll do what? Bring him back. Get him. Bring him back. Fantastic. I don't miss. Do it. Do it. Now, clearly, what you choose to do with your life is up to you. I don't really care personally. It doesn't affect me. But all the degeneracy that you do can and will catch up to you. And I think that safe sex is not a degenerate act, to be honest with you. I think having unsafe sex where you're fantasizing about ex content creator to the point where you're willing to take your I'm life protected. and put it at risk in jeopardy is a degenerate act. And now you have all these people sleeping around with every streamer, every content creator, every OF model. The overlap is so crazy. They're not even smart enough to really know how to track these things down just go get tested then they're not taking the safety precautions that they need to so then you have situations where these models are doing whatever they need to do or want to do in order to get their name and fame off like what happened to kai a couple of months ago or last year Y'all, I hate this Picasso in there so bad. So he is suing the OnlyFans model for leaking messages of him allegedly paying $5,000 for adult activities. You probably know, bro, okay? Yeah, you know, all right? It's some dumb <coughs> thing. I heard she licked uh, uh, naked people's right right too. Bro. But it's all right, though. It's all right, though, Shaq. But I remember that. Lord. <laughs> conversation is the hyper specialization of streamers and what is and what isn't content a lot of creators have felt like they found the jackpot the cheat code by saying you know what i'm gonna make my content super sexual and over sexualize people in order to get some sort of clicks views and traffic hell the person that everybody thought caught herpes from danae davis in the streaming world shay frost is the main example of this utilizing his mom his sisters and whoever it may be in order to get his fame and cloud off by putting them in sexual situations and he knows no bounds in these conversations sure. because we've seen the shay frost get head on stream mm -hmm. from these people that he puts on his content and on his platform but the question comes up are you even doing your due diligence and checking them and especially because you guys don't know anything That's about annoying. stds or whatever the case may be and you don't like to take them as serious as they should be i don't think that this is something that should be on you guys's platform as a whole that's not even factoring the fact that a lot of people have kid audiences that they don't think of jack doherty has literally been seen to have a whole of content agency while simultaneously maintaining some sort of childlike fan base andrew take the top g of them all has been arrested and brought up on charges for running some sort of sex trafficking ring with these of content creators but kids love to quote andrew take the top g and then we get to a point where we're starting to put the minors with the OF content creators and there's no sexual help, there's a bunch of misinformation and people aren't playing safe and That's it is sick. a total mess on the internet right now. I hope this whole Gucci third leg situation serves as a reminder as to why people should just try in life and hell, why corporations should pay more so people don't look to see that this is the way to go, that people take sexual health, sexual education more seriously and that professionalism is the route to go. I have no problem with you selling your body. At the end of the day, I'm gonna partake in it too. I like a little hand-to-man action. But ultimately, <laughs> there are ways to go about doing anything and everything safely. You wouldn't just let me become a mechanic for your car because I have a screwdriver and a wrench. You wouldn't let somebody come and work on your plumbing just because they had a butt crack showing in some Wrangler jeans. You wouldn't let somebody into your mouth well, those dentists were getting into people's mouths in Atlanta. But you understand what I'm saying. There's an attack on professionalism and we need to go that route because it is the safest and they take the most precautions. 
<sighs> That's for you, Omar, signing out. Facts. Great video, baby Lo. <laughs> People have told me this is Lo's brother or something like that. Um, wow, I did not know how deep this went. This is crazy. And all of these, you know, streamers, they all intertwined in this. They all sleeping with the same people, spreading all these diseases. This is disgusting. And wow, their child fan base is watching. It's just some very sick shit taking place. It's getting kind of dark. I don't like this. I don't like that children are consuming this type of content and they are looking up to these people who are bringing these OnlyFans models around and shit. Like, it's, it's just fucked up. It is. Uh, but, yeah, this, this was wild. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!